It's on. There's the tip. I'm covered by Hudson. Back out to Edmonds. He takes it back out front. Back over to the Hudson. Inside to Vincent, up. It's good. That was a nice move by Vincent posting up on the inside. Jones brings it down. Guarded tightly by Edmonds. Good defense there. Back over to Williams. Back to White. Over to Jones. It's up. No good. Scramble for the ball. Jump ball. Knock. Good defense. Inside the Williams. It's good. He got open on that. We well, can't say much about that. Edmonds brings the ball down court. Over to the wing. Back to Hudson. Jump shot. Up. No good. Rebound by Jones. There was already Williams to White on fast break. Up. No good. Edmonds gets his hand on it. Recovered by Meredith. Meredith's going down in the fast break. Up. Good by Meredith. He looked a little sloppy on that play, but, you know, at the start of the season, I think he's going to come along all right. Williams brings it down. Back to Jones. Over to Jackson. Inside the white. Fakes. Oh, got the B. He double dribbled. Oh, Ball to Edmondson County. Edmondson County is playing good so far, but I think they need to hit the boards. They're going to have to be more aggressive on the boards because that's their weak spot right now is rebounding. Edmonds directs traffic. He's bringing the ball down court. Over to Alexander. Edmonds breaks inside. He gets the ball, spins around, up. It's good. Oh, oh pretty move. Nice that is, move. That is, a, that is a great play. You just can't say much about that. Kind of thing. White brings the ball down quickly. Behind the back, oh. loses it. That was a good foul. He was going for the ball. Edmonds should be one of the foul on Jackson, number 20. Check us on that. It was a foul on, uh, I believe that was a foul on Chris Meredith. I'm out. Yeah. Wait. Meredith. Yeah, that's right. That's one foul for the ball. Williams up. Oh. Rebound by Meredith. Meredith oh, takes it down the middle. Oh. Brings it back out. Setting up the offense. Out to Ed Edmonds. Edmonds looks inside, passes back to Meredith. Picked by Hudson. Back out to Edmonds. Over to Alexander. Back to Meredith. Meredith up. It's good. Oh, yeah. Boom time for Edmondson County. Netted that one out. Jones brings the ball down. Pass to Jackson. Looks Look inside. That. Look at that battle inside between the two big men. They're really Williams good. out front. Eyes the shot. It's up. No good, but there's a foul on the play. That was, that was a good play, really, on defense. Who was that foul on, Todd? Sure about that. I believe that was on Vincent, I believe. That's, that's Evans County's second team foul. Burton, Coach Burton. Williams up the, the line. Line. It's up. It's good. That's good form on that. It's just straight up. In I think early in the season, this is going to become a problem for Remington County and Fouls because they just come out of football and they've not been practicing long enough. and They, they still don't have the the timing uh, down for each other. Oh, what? Edmondson County. All white rebound. Inside. Rebound by Hudson. Brought down by Edmonds. Over the wing to Alexander. Oh, nice spin. Uh -oh, Up for two. Oh, it's off. It's, away. That's a big air ball there. Travis with the offensive board. Oh, that covered by oh. Meredith. That's a foul on Jones. Jones. Yes, it's his first. It's Jones's first. Team's first. He just got carried away on that and going after the defense. Vincent takes the ball out. Over to Meredith. Vincent. Jump shot. Up. Oh. Two. And no call. That was a pretty play. No pretty play. Call. What was your opinion on that no call? Do you think it, it should have been stayed a no call or should there have been one? Sanders. I believe that was more of an acting job. Yeah, yeah sure. You never home. I'm always up there at home. Come here, Triple. Let me see what you've done.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's game between the Edmondson County Wildcats and the Hancock County Hornets. Tonight's game is brought to you by Pearson's IGA, Woods CB, and the Minute Mark. This should be an exciting game as we promise you that the Edmondson County Wildcats 1986-87 basketball season will be more exciting than ever. We're here with Todd Sanders, Wynn Caudill, and Greg Vincent. We'll be alternating tonight on uh, cutter and play-by-play, uh, -play, so bear with us, please. This is our first outing, and, you know, it's going to be rough around the ages, but hopefully toward the middle of the season we'll be able to be as smooth as the Edmondson County Wildcats are. The Edmondson County Wildcats basketball team should be very good. We're losing only two players last year and returning eight starters, which is very unusual for you can only play five at a time. But the Edmondson County Wildcats should really be uh, ready to play. However, they've only had a week since basketball season practice has started because of the football season. But if it's any indication of their JV team was earlier tonight, then I think that this game will really be good. The Hancock County Hornets, on the other hand, they're not a very good basketball team <laughs> from what we have heard. They uh, have only returned, they're not returning any starter over six foot as this year, so we've learned. And uh, combined record of six and yeah. 20. As last year, they had a combined record of 6 and 20. So, we don't expect that tonight's contest to be a very spectacular one. It'll probably be rough around the edges, but bear with us and with Edmonds County Wildcats as we will try to bring you the best play by play as possible. Uh, Edmonds County is supporting a real strong inside compared with also what could be considered one of their worker points, but I feel that it is also strong point is at the guard positions. From the indication of the JV game, not only do they have a strong inside, but they also are going to have a good backup at guard in Tyrone Edmonds. Tyrone Edmonds really played a superior ball game in the JV, in the JV game, and he really shined, so to speak. I have to, I have to agree with that com completely. Tyrone just, just proved himself to be possibly the first starter off the bench, uh, first, not starter, but first guard off the bench at point because he was just truly outstanding, pulling down rebounds, scoring points, and leading the team. And this, this Wildcat team will possibly need leadership. They've got many seniors, but they're waiting for one to truly seize control and take over for the Wildcats this year. Well, I believe that person was proved last year in Scott Mallow. He's really, he really took over the team in crucial situations and really held, really held things in order for him. He's, he's the leader out there and he's going to be one of the premier players on the team. There's been many, a lot of talk this year that if Mellow got hurt, which let's heaven forbid, but this could be Mellow's team. If Mellow can stay with it, then the team could go far. Okay. Tonight, we're really not sure about the starter lineup, but we can give you six names that will probably be starting. One, Scott Mello. He's a six-foot, 160-pound senior and is the top returning scorer from last year. He averaged 13 points a game and handed out 4.1 assists. Possibly at the other guard tonight will be Joey James. Joey James is also a six-foot-one senior. He weighs 160 pounds, and he averaged 11 game, points a game and handed out three assists. The inside people will be either... Either Todd Hudson, Brian Alexander, Brian Brown, and Richard Hunt, or Tom Vincent. As we now get ready for game time. And there's the horn. There's the horn. 86-87 scrimmage season gets underway. More than an average like? size crowd here at Edmondson County for this preseason scrimmage. Both teams, their coaches are now giving them last second instructions before coming out on the floor. Are these the same referees we had during the JV game? I'm not certain. Uh, yes, I believe it is. Okay, for the Wildcats starting tonight, we have at one guard, number 12, Scott Mello. At the other guard, number 21, Joey James. The two forwards will be Richard Hunt, number 55, Brian Alexander, number 22, and the center will be number 43. No, pardon me, 55. Check us on that, number, no, number 45. 45. 
uh, Tom Vincent and the Edmonds can controls the tip. Alexander goes up no good. Mello fights for the ball. It's a fight for the ball. Hancock County recovers the ball. Jones out to Smith. Smith playing the point over to Jones. As uh, Joy James recovers the ball, Joy James brings the ball down the floor over to Mello. Mello goes up. No good. Rebound by Smith over to Jones. Jones brings the ball down the floor. Ed to White in the corner. White. Oh. Steps were called, but the referee didn't catch it. Vincent's got the ball. Over to Mello. Mello brings the ball down on the floor. Mello setting up the offense. Over on the wing to Alexander. Out to Hunt. Hunt inside to Vincent. Vincent goes up. No good. Evans County are starting out cold as they're 0 for 2. Two inside shots as we have White with the ball. It's a foul called on Mello. On that last play by Evans County, you could tell that the football season is still running thin. If this had been in the last year, that would have been in there for Tom Vincent. But as you can tell, the football season, he's not been able to practice that much. And by the end, by the midway through the season, that shot will be falling. Well, him and Mello both at the start of the game, they both shot two shots inside the paint. And both of them almost broke the backboard. <laughs> but we'll see what's going on. Uh, White shoots the ball, no good. Uh, Matt White, that is. <laughs> We have two whites tonight, and Tom and Matt White. Shoot the ball again, and it's good as the Hancock County Hornets now lead Edmondson County by a score of one to nothing. Joy James brings the ball down the floor for Edmondson County. Hancock County's in a man-to-man -man defense. Over to Alexander to Hunt. Hunt, James inside to Alexander. Alexander getting the ball back to James. James driving the baseline. Kicked out to Mello. Mello with the ball inside to Vincent. Vincent to Hunt. Oh, oh that was a nice pass by Vincent. He seems to learn how to pass the ball more. That's going to be an asset to him as the season goes along. Seems like the referees are wanting to set the tempo. They're going to try to keep them from congesting up that center as they've already called their first three second call. Yeah. We've only had a minute and a half to go through in the game. And that was the second turnover by Edmondson County. We have Cummings with the ball. Cummings inside to Eric. We have a foul call. Edmonton looks a little lagged here. They don't seem to have the intensity that the JV squad had. That was a foul on Tom Vincent. That's his second. Well, first. He takes on that. Vincent's In the corner to White. Oh, air ball by White. Oh, that looked like a walk in there. Looked like that pivot foot slid to me. Yeah. We have another slid three seconds call. <laughs> They're trying to set the tempo early. They're trying to keep everyone from clogging up that center. So Mello with the ball. Mello brings the ball down the floor for Edmonton County. Mello over to Alexander on the wing to Vincent. Out front to James. Inside to Mello. Mello wide open for two. Nice pass from James. Mello's first one to get the Wildcats on the scoreboard tonight. White with the ball. White way over to Emrick. Emrick inside to the other White, Tom White. Oh, Hunt needs to, time is jumping. Oh, oh wow. blocked by Tom Vincent. Oh, I don't know, see how there was a foul not call on that play. Hancock County kind of loses the ball as it will be Edmondson County's basketball that will take it on the side. That Should have been that, some kind of call there. That was a break for the Wildcats though, really. Once Hancock County got the ball back, they just dribbled it off their foot and couldn't ever get control of it again. James with the ball for Edmonds County as he brings it across the half court line. James over to Mello. Mello old dribbles. Thrown inside to Vincent. Vincent can't hold on to it. The third turnover for the Edmondson County Wildcats tonight. Too high of a pass by Mello. Give the defense too much time to react. I thought, the, I thought there was a little bit of a tip on his pass. That, that's what messed up the, the reception. Vincent. White with the ball over to Cummings. Cummings inside, tried to go inside with it to Emrick. Deflected by Alexander. You could tell, see Emrick's disgust that time. He was, he was really wanting a foul that time. He thought that Alexander went over his back. Hancock, Hancock County will have the ball out on the side. Oh, deflected oh. by Mello, almost to steal there. Everybody racing back in the corner to White. White dribbling the ball, Tom White that is. Shot by Tom White, no good. Rebounded by Joy James. Oh, oh and fell on the break. Lane. Oh, Aaron bad pass. pass. Eric Young, Eric Young with the ball. 
over to White. White dribbles the baseline, kicks it back out. It's almost a turnover. Oh, James. James deflected the ball, but couldn't hold on to it. There's that Wildcat intensity. It's starting to come through. It's, James is really hustling after that one. He's giving it all for that last one. Hancock County's basketball. White with the ball. Tom White. Tom White over to Emrick. Emrick dribbling the ball. Oh. Ooh. Foul on one referee pointed toward Mello, the other toward James. They obsessed the foul with Mello. That could have gone either way, I thought. Uh, it really looked, to me, I, they're still thinking it's football season, I think. That, that was a double team. Just trying, almost wiped him out. <laughs> As Hancock County has the basketball, almost Ooh. still by Vincent. Ooh. Vincent, good job. Vincent dives on the floor after the ball. Vincent's one of the most intense players on the Wildcat basketball team. He really gets after people. And just by, by his junior year or possibly senior, he's he's going to be the emotional and spiritual leader of the Wildcats. He's really doing it all. He does it all. So Hancock County with the ball. It's in the white in the corner. White out to his brother, Matt White. Inside to Emrick. Emrick goes up. No good. Rebound by James. James brings the ball all the way. No good. Mello tries to save it. Oh, and it's still Hancock it's County's basketball. On that, one. That, that, that had to be off Mello. Mello dives after it on his foot. But that, James got a little too fancy on that last play. James with the ball. Over in the corner to Mello. Mello shoots from outside. It's string music here in Wildcat Arena as Scott Mello scores. From early reports, Mello has really been filling it up in practice. Uh, he was reporting he hit 98 of 100 free throws. So that shows his concentration is really up. Oh, second foul charge to Tom Vincent. And you know, this, the foul situation this year for Emmons County shouldn't be that as bad a factor as it was last year, considering they can go to, what, six players deep in the forward and center position? It was reported that Emmons County could give up a total of 50 fouls. Let's foul out 10 players and still be able to have a decent team. <laughs> Vincent with the rebound. Good. Oh. James with the ball. James feed off to Hunt. Hunt goes up. No good. Rebound by Vincent. Vincent goes up. Oh, oh he was sandwiched. He was hammered inside. He was, he was hunting bear on that last one. He comes through with a, with a club that would have just knocked anything out. Foul on number 30, Emrick. That's his first foul. Tom Vincent goes to the line to shoot two. Vincent's the line. He, he's really looked good. Here, you know, he's been a little, little sloppy, but I feel that toward the end of the season, he sh he should be one of if one of if not the top player on the Evans County Wildcat team. Well, he's he's a little bit below his what he was averaging 10.1 by the end of the last season in points, but he might be able to get that this season. But there's so much balance. I don't know if if anybody will have the great stats that they were having last year. Vincent connects on both of those three throws, and now we have White with the ball. White dribbling the ball down the floor. Over to his brother, Matt White. Half court press. Matt into Tom White. Tom in the corner to Emrick. Inside to Young. Young with the ball out to Matt White. Matt White shoots. Oh, and it's almost broke the backboard there. Kicked out to Mello. Mello with the ball. Mello brings the ball down the floor. I was surprised to see Hunt out on the point of that defense. They were really pressuring. Could they have been looking for the... Oh, Vincent with the ball. Vincent goes up for the fake and drug his foot. Steps well, were called. They're making advantage of his long arm span and his quickness to really really cause havoc out there at the point with the smaller guards. You think he, they could also be thinking in case they did get it, the ball upward? Oh, inside to Young. Young goes up and scores. Goal by Young. Joy James with the ball. Edmonds County really being intense on that defense, though. Inside to Hunt. Hunt goes up. No good. Vincent. Oh. Vincent tips the ball in. That's a good play. And you can see the big men are working together. Matt White out to Emrick. Emrick inside to Young. Young goes up. No good. Oh, ball tapped around. Ball tapped around. Go back and Alexander comes up with the loose ball. And you'd think this was volleyball the way they were going at it. This needs an end. Inside the Joy James brings the ball down the floor. Joy James over to Mello. Mello dribbling on the reverse and goes up and shoots no good. Rebound Alexander. Alexander goes up, scores. 
That was a nice spin move by Melo. Just couldn't get his shot to fall. Alexander really showed good job going to offensive boards that time, too. Matt White over to his brother and back to him. Matt White with the ball. Turnover inside. Deflected by James. And James goes up. No good. Vincent can't connect. Vincent gets two tries. Alexander oh. gets blocked. Pulled up by Matt White over to Tom White. Goes up. Oh, he scores. That stutter step was close to walking there at the end. Very sloppy play by both teams that time. So the James, they're trying to double team now. James with the ball. Almost loses a dribble. James gets the ball. They're going to set up some type of offense now. Hancock County really going after them on defense now. James with the ball in the corner out to Mello. Mello over to Hunt. Hunt inside to James. James goes up. Oh, he's fouled. Foul is obsessed to uh, Emery. James, cannot, James came off that pick well, really got himself open. If that shot had failed, that would have been three. It's just a little too hard. But midseason, we can look for those shots to probably be falling through. Check us on that. That was Emery with that foul. Ball comes inside. It's over to uh, James. James with the basketball. Out to Alexander. Alexander almost loses it, but he gains control of it. Back out to James. James to Mello. Mello from top of the key dribbles. Over to Vincent. Vincent with the ball. Very questionable call there, but they obsessed that call to number 20, Eccles. That's Eccles' first foul of the night. Well, Vincent really just lowered his shoulder, I thought, that time and just ran over him. But I must have the wrong angle, and the rest can see it better than me. So the Wildcats will have the ball underneath there. So we have Alexander bring the ball in. He throws to Hunt. Over to James. James over to Mello. Mello shoots from the corner. It's good. Go by Mello. Bottomed it out. You can't, you can't ask for any better shooting than that. Tom White brings the ball over to his brother Matt. Matt with the basketball. He dribbles to the corner. He goes up and shoots. It's air ball. Inside to Young. Young gets two tries at it, and he scores. The 1-3-1 defense wasn't ready for the Wildcats that time, and they just no rebounding power behind them. James to Mello. Mello brings the ball in the front corner. Over to James. Inside to Hunt. Hunt goes up. Spins. No good. Rebound by Emrick. Emrick out to Tom White. Tom White brings the ball on the floor. Over to Eccles. Eccles from the top of the key. It's good. The zone. Uh, Hancock County is really eating up the zone tonight. They're, they're man to man now. James with the ball. James brings the ball on the floor. He goes up. Oh, it's blocked. He shoots again, and it's no good. So this is in the first quarter with the Edmondson County Wildcats leading by a score of 12 to 9. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Next. It'll be Hancock County, Hancock County's ball to open the second quarter. Uh, some of the stats on that first quarter. We got two fouls for Tom Vincent of Emmons County, one for Richard Hunt, and one for Scott Mello. As then when we check for Hancock County, we have two for Emick and one for Eccles. Emmons County leads the foul situation four to three. Or can that be called leading or losing? Right? I think that'd be more called losing. For the next foul that Emmons County gets, it will put Hancock County in the bonus. And see, Ed, Edmonds has come in, and Browning we see the quarterback and. Edmonds have come in for Edmondson County. This will be a change. What can, Do you think we'll see a change in the playing philosophy now? I don't know. Number 24, Todd Hudson, is also in the basketball lineup. Oh, my bad. I missed him. But like I said before, Edmonds County has such depth, they can go a long ways down the bench and still be good. White takes the ball outside. Back to Eccles. Eccles goes around the corner. Back out to White. Inside the... That was inside the Amick. And foul on Hunt. His second foul. One second foul. At this point on, the uh, Hancock County Hornets will be in the bonus. Emix at the line shooting one and the bonus. And we're really in doubt on, we have no idea whether they're any good at the free throw line, but we're fixing to see. As it oh, looks like they, not on that one. Edmonds brings the ball down. Do you think Coach Meredith could be looking for some of that? Uh, that brilliant play we've seen in the JV game from Edmonds again in varsity. Oh, oh downtown. Bottoms out. Todd Hudson Todd Hudson comes in the music. It comes in the game with string music. <laughs> oh, uh, over to over White. Right there. Oh, we got a over to Amick. Over to Cummings. Back oh. over to Eccles. Oh, Eccles. Baseline. Mm. That's three on Hunt. 
We said Wildcats were deep, but we don't want to have to test it out this early in the season. Especially with both the big men now have the most fouls. Hunt has three and uh, Vincent has two. Evans County is finding themselves in early foul trouble. We'll see if they can Get on. turn this around. Yes. Looking rather sloppy at this point. Well, I think this was sort of expected seeing that they just had a week of practice since football season. Rebound by Hudson to Edmonds. Ooh, Ooh almost a collision. Edmonds brings it down. Over to Browning at the wing. Back out to Hudson. Oh, nice pass to Mello. Mello up. It's no good. Oh, oh saved out. Oh, oh, it's out of bounds. Off Evanson County. Good try by Mello, but he just threw it just a tad too far and a tad too high. Good play, though. Good hustle. Eccles takes the ball out to White. <laughs> you forget. You got, over to Cummings. We've got the press defense going. Walk Back over to Tom White. White. It's up. No good. Scramble for the ball. Browning comes down. That's a right. Browning. Had out to Edmonds. Edmonds brings the ball down. That's Browning's first rebound. He was averaging six and a half. Over to Browning. He drives the baseline. It's up. It's no good. Rebound by Cummings. Cummings brings the ball. Pass to Eccles. It's up. It's no good. Loose ball. Recovered by Hancock County. Shot up by White. It's good. Edmonds County is not moving their feet quick enough. That's. Oh, they're, they're catching up. It's Browning to Mello. Mello drives. Back inside to Browning. Browning up. No good. Hunt with rebound. Up. It's no oh, good. too hard. Rebound. Oh, it's a loose ball. Maybe three for a dollar. <laughs> oh, they're cheaper by the dozen around here. No folks. one could come a hold of that one. It's 14-11 Wildcats. We have one officially. Browning takes the ball out. Oh, deflected. Recovered back by Browning. It's up. No no good. That was hard to say on that shot. And we were talking about the depth and the height inside being such a factor for Mammonson County, but they're being led tonight by Scott Mello with six points. The senior leader we were talking about earlier, too. What do you think about that, Todd? Question on who that was out on. I believe it's Hancock County basketball. Well, Mello and Hunt so far are the only starters that have played through the first and started the second quarter, so that could be a a positive factor in the reason that Melo has so many points. He has a little bit more playing time than other players. <coughs> Foul on the inside. Oh, that's on Richard Hunt. That's his fourth foul. They're, <coughs> they're going to have to get him out of there. I feel that another reason that Melo is doing such a good job of scoring the points is because the Hancock County team is keen on the big men inside and leaving Melo open on the outside more. Emmerich, no good. Rebound Browning. He's got three rebounds so far. Mello pushes it down the court. Over to Edmonds. Edmonds jump shot. It's good. Pandemonium breaks out here in Wild Katarina. <laughs> and I think he might have got hit on the hand on that last shot. We White. could have been looking at three points. White brings the ball down. Inside to Cummings. Oh, Bingo. it's in there. Go by Cummings. Edmonds across midcourt to Mello. Back to Edmonds. Over to Browning. 15 on Wildcats. Moving pick Edmonds. charged. That's number five on Richard Hunt. No, Edmonds. Foul is on Edmonds. It was on 55. 55. Richard Hunt. My bad. That would be five if this was Check a, us on a counting game. Check us on that, Greg. Yes, my bad, my bad. Please try to bear with us. We are trying to recover from the flu bug tonight. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Tom White's at the line. Into the Evans County lineup, number 45, Tom Vincent replaces Richard Hunt. John Roberts also comes into the lineup for the Hancock County Hornets. Tom White at the line, shooting one in the bonus. It's up, no good. Rick. Scramble for the ball. It's recovered by Todd Hudson out the Mello. He leads a fast break. Oh, oh, smart oh. play Mello, smart play. Mello brings it back out, sets up the offense. So there was nothing there and just took it back. Browning at the wing. Out front to Edmonds. Almost a busted up play, but they're going to get reset now. Mello. Mello. There's that Shot. senior leader. No good. No rebound. Rebound by Emmerich. It is Emmick, that's right. 
You're right. Cummings brings the ball down. It's up. No good. Scramble for the ball. Recovered by White. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a foul on the play. That'll be on number 24, Todd Hudson. That's his first. Teams umpteenth, I believe. They're really in foul trouble here in the first half of the ball game. Nine, nine on them. Todd Hudson couldn't quite make it on the pickpocket there. Cummings at the line. It's up. No good. It, yes, it is. it is good. Check us on that. Check us on that, Todd. I believe that was good. We've got an unofficial score of 14 for Hancock County, 16 for Evanston County. If he hits this, they've pulled within one. Cummings sizes up the shot. It's up. That one is good, no question about it. Oh, fast break by Edmondson County. Mello drives down to the baseline. Back out to Edmonds. Cross court to Browning. It's up. It's good. Oh, yes. Bingo. That was in there, and that's the big man's first two points of the night. And they take a three-point lead back. Over to Emmerich. Back to Cummings. Over to Emmerich. Back to Cummings. Cross court to White. Back to Cummings at the wing. Back to Emmerich. To Cummings. Cummings sizes up, looks inside. Back to Emmerich. To Cummings. In the White. Oh, couldn't quite get a hold on that. That's Mellow's second. This is strange. Usually in last year's games, Mello would have around four at this time of the game. <laughs> He's playing under control this year. More under control. Uh, it'll be Emmerich at the line, shooting one in the bonus. <laughs> yes. As we got caught on a water break that time. It's up. No good. Oh, pulled down strongly by Vincent, but... Lane violation. Ooh. Lane violation on Vincent. That's typical of a young player, though. Meredith checks into the game for Meredith number 10, checks in for Mello. That may push Edmonds out to the point. Well, Edmonds County now has probably one of their biggest lineups in the game right now. But have they got one of their quickest? That's the one thing you must think, you're going to have to think about. Em Emmerich's free throw is good. Edmonds County might at this time need to go with a more of an outside shooting thing. They've not been getting too many points on the inside of the, in the paint this game. Less than it was expected. To Edmonds, Edmonds pushes it up court. Over to Browning. Browning drives the baseline. Inside to Edmonds, Edmonds up. It's no good. Pulled down by Vincent, up. It's no good. Scramble for the ball. Edmonds had it, he lost it. It's recovered by Emmerich. Cummings pushes it up. Pass to White. Cross court. Oh, intercepted by Hudson. Hudson slows it down to Edmonds. Edmonds brings it up court. Cross to Meredith. Meredith drives, drives the baseline inside to Vincent. Vincent's up. It's good. Oh, it's pretty move. Pretty move. There was no way they could stop that. And he just got his body turned around there, and the defensive man was caught in, in the wrong position. Cummings brings it down inside to Emmerich. Emmerich turns around. It rolls around the rim off. Hudson with the rebound. Out to Edmonds. Edmonds pushes it down court. Oh, a steal by Cummings. White recovers. White pushes it down. Passes off to Cummings in the side. Oh, steps called. steps called. Oh, if he hadn't done that, they were looking at catching up. The Wildcats have went on a five-point tear on them. If they could have, they could have got that one, they would have just been. Hancock County applies some, some three-quarter court pressure. Edmonds brings it up. Back to Mellow. Over to Hudson. Back to Browning. Over to Meredith, cross court. Meredith drives the baseline. Back out to Edmonds. Hey, they're showing good control. That Meredith. Meredith, Meredith out front. That last time? Right, back over to Edmonds. Edmonds drives around the pick. It's up. It's good. That's four for Edmonds. He's still showing some of those good flashes. Edmonds from burned the JV. off the net mouth to come out the ECVFD. <laughs> That's the volunteer fire department for all those who or unfamiliar with those letters. Cummings, out front to White. Back out to Cummings. Cross court to Roberts. He dribbles. Back out to Cummings. Inside to Emmerich. Back out to Cummings. It's up. It's no good. 
Scramble for the ball. Browning comes down with the rebound. To Edmonds. Edmonds pushes down court. Looks like a fast break. Oh, deflected. Out of bounds. Still, Edmondson County basketball. Hancock County showed good patience on that last possession, and then, then they settled for a bad shot. Checking into the game will be Brad White and uh, John Roberts, replacing Tom White and John Emrick. Sounds good. Ball out of bounds by Browning. <laughs> shot by Hudson. It's oh, good. He's Bingo. He's been Dream bombing them out music there. Music here in Wildcat Arena. And the Wildcats have pulled to a seven-point lead on them. White they, brings the ball down. Hancock hasn't scored a point in three minutes. They've hit a cold streak. In, oh, loose ball recovered by Vincent. Bird, Bird threads the pack and comes out, sets up the offense. Over to Meredith. Meredith drives to the baseline. Looks inside into Vincent. Batted away by Roberts. As big and quick as Edmonds County is this year, they can really apply some pressure defense. I'm surprised we haven't seen any myself. It's been really, they've been, it seems like they've just been going up trying to save oh. themselves. Dangerous pass by Browning. Oh, Hudson's shot is no good. Rebounded by Roberts. All White rich. pushes it down. Oh, inside the Cummings. Cummings back to Roberts. It's good. Oh, nah, that was a nice play by Roberts. Leading up the pass. Meredith brings it down. Back to James. James shoots. Oh, Whoa. off the board. He puts it through. Those are his first points tonight. What? Oh, blocks. Oh, oh uh -oh. that'll be a foul on that one. Must have got him with the arm or the body. One of the two. Not on the hand. Two, one. Let's, and that's, that's uh, James's first, first foul. Time. Team's 30th, I believe. 11. Let's settle for 11. Let's go with that. It seems weird how Edmondson County and Hancock County both will start out slow and will tend to get faster and faster and faster as the game progresses. And do you know we still have three fouls for Hancock County? They've not reached the bonus for Edmondson County yet. Brad White makes his first free throw attempt. Well, could that be accredited to do uh, the football season, the many fouls, or could it just be that they're just... Oh, Brad White makes the second free throw. I think it is. Edmondson County has not gained their composure as of yet. James directs the offense. Dribbles to the wing. Back out front to Browning. They're going to go for one here. Really? To Meredith. Meredith dribbles to the wing. Back to Browning. Evans can't set up in a circle offense. Oh, off the head. Off James' head. And you can tell. If they're getting tired, you can see Tom Benson when he's sitting over, he's standing there bending, pushing down the shorts, you can tell they're getting tired. Bending over, they're not running up the court. The football players are out of condition. Oh! Oh! Wildcats get a break on that one. That's the problem that you get James a second ago and then now uh, John Roberts both losing their intensity. Errant plays by Hancock County. That could give Edmondson County Hudson. a chance to build the lead up. Back to James. James shoots. It's no off the glass. No good. And, the desperation, and the, the desperation shot is no good by Roberts, and that concludes the first half of play here at Edmondson County High School. We'll be back in just a few minutes to give you our first half statistics and talk a little bit more about the second half. But first, the message from Brownsville Deposit Bank. This is your Kentucky Wildcat Basketball Network. Three minutes left. In the game? The yeah! Anybody <laughs> know what the score is? Wyman. What score? <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Is it on? And we're here at the Emmons County Arena at halftime to, tonight with the Wildcats leading 26 to 18 unofficially. And uh, a couple running backs going pro, I mean, uh, college, and then they got two linebackers going to Murray and so, uh, well that's about it but you know I think we was all pleased but you know we wanted to go more and win more but we just got to be happy with our district win that we had and that's about it. You think uh, since you're a manager of the basketball team this year do you think that this is the football season is giving the basketball team added confidence going into this year? Well yeah and uh, another thing it this basketball is it's up for grabs this year because everybody's lost people besides we ain't lost nobody our average height is 6'3 and uh 
will be tough after a while, I think, in here. And I think the region will be up for grabs because there's nobody, nobody around that's, you know, it's come back, you know, after they lost all their people. And they'll just be fresh teams. Okay, and this has been Georgie Lyle Childress at our halftime interview. And now we got to move on to some stats. Thank you, Georgie. Good. We'll see you next year in football. For Hancock County, the Hornets, Todd Cummings had four points, leading them off. Tom White with two. John Emick had two fouls and one point. Shane Eccles, one foul and two points. Matt White with three points. Eric Young with two. Brad White failed to score, and John Roberts had two points, giving them a total of 18. Unofficially for Edmondson County, we have Richard Hunt with no points and five fouls. That's a That's disappointing a statistic. Yes. Tom Vincent, six points and two fouls, also a rebound. Not, that's really, he should be going the boards harder. Brian Browning with two points and four rebounds. The rebounds, we have to remember, are pretty weak. We haven't been able to keep up that well. Todd Hudson with four points and one foul. Brian Alexander with two points. Scott Mello with six points and two fouls. Joy James has two points. And Tyrone Edmonds come off the bench in the latter stage of the second half and poured in four points. I'd have to say that in the first half, that Tyrone Emmons really could possibly have been called the spark plug. Him and Todd Hudson come off and scored a, about four quick points, each of them, from long range and quick drives. And it really changed the tempo of the game for Edmondson County. And uh, we'll be right back after, in, a few, in about 30 seconds, this has been the Wildcat Halftime Stat Report. Emmons, Western's winning by 16 points with three minutes to go. Okay. Okay. These were 26 to 18 at the half. Morning, guys. Yeah. Hey, Bruce. What's the official score down there? 21, I'm missing it by three. Right. We got ours right. Change that to 21. And we're on the air, and we found out that our unofficial stat was wrong, and it's really 26 to 21, Emmonson County leading. Hancock having been credited with three more points than we gave them credit for. As it's Emmonson County's ball to start off the second half, Alexander passes to James, and he's crossing the 10-second line. Mello goes across. Alexander onto the left. Hunt sets a pick. Hunt receives the ball. He's looking over to Mello at the point. He's searching. He finds James underneath. James turns off the rim, and Hancock brings it down with a rebound by Matt White. We now have... Uh, the forward, Eccles, put it dribbling. No, he shoots. Bad shot. Re rebound by Tom Vincent. Nice rebound by Vincent. He needs to go to the board tighter. Oh, oh, bad communication between Mello and Hunt, but Emmons County's still scrapping, well, and it's like, jump ball. It's about time there was a call. There was ball was on the floor for five seconds. <laughs> Could have had something. I'm surprised, according to the sec first half, that we didn't have a three-second call the way we started off the first half. That's true. It'd be Hancock County's ball with Eccles giving the ball over to Young. And Young is bringing it across the 10-second line. Mello stops the green as the Wildcats are in a man-to-man -man defense. Young signals. He passes over to White, Tom White. Back to Young. Mello has him. Hunts applying pressure. Well, uh, I believe the key to this, if you'll notice, Hancock County is in, in a more aggressive offense, and therefore they're not standing as much, and so they're, they're less... Adequate to get called for a three-second call. And we had a walk that time against Todd Cummings of Hancock County. Wildcats will take over. That's the uh, first turnover of this half for Hancock County, I do believe. And James brings it up court with Mello to help out. Looks like Hancock's going to pick up half court. And they go man to man. They showed signs of zone. Over to Alexander. Vincent sets a pick. He looks down low. Over to Mello on the right. Mello back up to the point to James. James over to Hunt on the left. Mello comes around. Whoa, we got a tip ball. Hunt gets the ball back under control to James. Over to Mello at the corner. He sent that past at and Yes, it's telegraphed by mile, but we get it into Tom Vincent. The big man scores. Vincent's starting to get his legs under him out there. He's starting to come to his own. Vincent is 
two points short of getting his last year average of 10. He's got eight so far tonight. As we have the Tom White with the ball over to Cummings, the other forward. Good defense We're looking around. Looks like the Wildcats has sw got swapped up in inside on their men. James guarding one of the forwards. Good defense, man to man. Hunt got lost for a minute. He's got it. Oh, and Vincent has the ball. He won't make it in himself, but James, oh! Good double pump fake with the left hand. Nice pass by Vincent. He's, he's really, he's thrown a couple of real good passes inside this game. And I missed the foul. Did y'all see who that was on? I think it was on uh, Eccles, wasn't it? I believe it was. Foul on Eccles. That's his second. Be James at the line. On the, Shooting the, two shots. In the previous two years that I played for Coach Gary Meredith, I've noticed that, that he always likes to have some type of pressure defense. And I mean, this I believe this will be a good thing to have this year with the quickness and height that he has and also the depth where he can run five players as hard as he can as they go and they can turn around and switch and put in five more. And Emick is coming in for Hancock. It's surprising we didn't see him start that last game as uh, White goes down with two fouls. Or no, take it back, Eccles goes down with two fouls. And Emerson County goes to their press offense, man-to-man, -man, full court for the first time in the game. Press defense, my mistake. Oh, and they get, oh, Tom Vincent, good play. And he didn't make it in in time. Hit the bench with his leg. Good play and a good hustle by the Wildcats. Uh, the Wildcats really got after him, though, but uh, it didn't seem to right have have the right, be at the right place at the right time, and, you know, just they was really hustling, though. And Hancock County passes it over to the right, across court, cross court pass, very dangerous to the left, up to the point again, out to the right, dangerous pass, inside. Hunt gets him to slow down, but he can't stop him as Hancock County powers it inside. Nice, that was a nice play inside by Emmick. And Mello! Oh, string, string music. music by Mello. Oh, my goodness. He's got eight, and him and Vincent are tied for the lead scoring honors of the, of the game. As the score is now 30, I think. Well, we'll have to wait on the score. And we have a five second call. Good defense by the Wildcats as they're pressuring Hancock County all over the place. That attributes just what I said about it. Gary Merritt's pressuring defense that he likes to go to. Evans County, you notice they will, they will, on some, time, some occasions, every time down the floor, they will show a different type of defense. Oh, Alexander come dangerously and close to lifting up that pivot foot, but they bring it down against the full court pressure by the Hancock County Hornets. And Evans County, James runs the point. He runs to the left. Over to Alexander at the right. Mello over to the right. Hunt, baseline. Ten footer is good. First play of the game. Maybe he'll start to contribute on the offensive end of the court. And Hancock County brings it across the 10 second line. Mello guarding full court. He drives, misses. Rebound by Tom Vincent. Out to Joey James as he brings it across. Wildcats fast breaking, but they he have didn't to hold have up. The numbers. He did the right thing pulling it out. Mello goes up for two again and swish. It's down the. It's He's peppering the thing now. Better than Drano, it's down the drain. And Hancock County brings it up the <laughs> Hancock County brings it up the court and we have a foul. I don't um, think I've ever heard that thing, Greg. <laughs> it's homemade and original. Foul on James. That's his second. And Hancock County will take it out on the side. We have Todd Hudson reporting in for Richard Hunt, giving Hunt a break. I'd say he's, he's, he's coming close to, he's earning it this game. This yeah. We also have uh, Brian Browning coming in replacing Brian Alexander. We just have the score in that uh, Western Kentucky University has just beaten Notre Dame 86-53. That, that, that's a surprising score to be that much of a difference in the game. Let me correct you on that. Not it was 80 to 63 instead of 86 to 53. That's an even bigger difference. <laughs> Evans County ball. Brian Browning passes over Todd Hudson. He dribbles, stutter steps over to Brian Browning. Browning over to Mello. They cross the 10-second line. James inside. He shoots. It's oh, Air missed everything. And Hancock County brings it up the court. A lot of white jerseys back, so they Evans set it up. County was back well on defense that time. 
and clog up the lanes. Emmick shoots and it's good. Nice oh. shot. Good touch. The big man has a touch on the outside side. Outside side. And James brings it across the 10 second line and they set it up. He calls out instructions over to Mello at the point. Mello over to Browning. Over to Hudson on the baseline. He shoots. Oh. oh. You can count that one out. Two oh, for Hudson. Hudson he... straight from the Orient with that smooth as silk shot. Yes. And the Wildcats continue holding up that lead. And Hancock County holds the ball. The dribbling around. The big man showing a little bit of dribbling ability. Ooh. Oh, got a tie up. Could be five. That could have been oh. a walk. He that... carried that ball against his side, I thought. It's very close, no call or questionable, whichever you want to look at. Oh! Ooh. And we have a foul. See. Like oh, it's a foul on Edmondson County's Mello as he's going for the ball. And we have Tyrone Edmonds, the Edmondson County spark plug from the first half, coming back in for James. Something I'd like to mention about just a second ago, Brian Brown do a charge. And that's something that Brown is a very hard-nosed player. And you get a player to take a charge, and that's a, a great accomplishment because very few players will want to attempt that feat. Well, Coach Marath really emphasizes the taking the charge because it really gets the team fired up when they see one of their players going down hard on the floor trying to help the team out. And yeah. it, it really is a spark plug. Foul at time on Edmondson County and Todd Cummings will go to the line. Foul was on Tom Vincent. He's going up for the block, got some arm. Cummings shoots and he misses the first one as it rattles around. Edmondson County's Mellow and Browning switch. And we have two players coming in for Hancock County. Matt White and Eric Young. Matt White and Eric Young, you heard it first here. And we still have Cummings at the line, shooting one more shot as he was fouled on the shot on his shot the last time. He shoots, and it's good, and Edmondson County takes it out. They were looking up court fast that time. Oh, Edmonds got caught trying to get in a hurry. Looking that's ahead, one, not dribbling. That's one of Edmonds' few mistakes tonight. I believe he was due one. He played some spectacular basketball tonight. I believe he got caught looking ahead, trying to go for the fast break too early. And Hancock County sets up, drives. Oh, bad shot, and we have a foul. I believe it. On Tom Benson. Let's check that and make sure. I'll check that. I'll be Todd, Todd Hudson. It is Hudson. Todd Hudson. On the push, trying to get the rebound. That's two on Todd. Edmondson County. That's the team's fourth. We were talking about Edmondson County being to deep and hand. could avoid foul trouble and had 50 fouls to give, but if they keep up, they will hit 50. <laughs> and we'll see how deep they really are. And Cock County passes over to the right, over to the point, back to the right. He drives. Oh, bad pass. Could have been a foul call there. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh, he put that one in the nickel seat. That's right. He was, Tom Vincent was determined that there would be no three-point play that time. Oh, there is. Check the time, there's two minutes and eight seconds left in the quarter. That's foul on Brian Browning that time. He has two. Number 53, it seemed like. Oh, one, one. Hey, Kurt checked me on that one. From this point on now, Hancock County will be shooting the bonus. First and shot up and short. It just didn't look like he got his form through on that. No follow through, didn't he, wouldn't you say? That's what most coaches emphasize. Well, that one was no follow through either, but most coaches emphasize it. And to be consistent, you're going to have to have a good follow through on your three throws. Oh, dangerous pass up the middle, but it's completed from Browning to Mello, and Mello sets it back up. Edmonds over to the left, Browning to the right as they switch. What what kind of offense is Edmondson County running, Todd? Well, uh, that was sort of a busted up play, so I really couldn't tell that time. Okay, and it's, oh! Good hustle on both teams' part, and it's back to Hancock County. Browning really got back on defense. He was all the way under the basket on the other end and come back to break up the play. Has good defense on Browning, but it's also a good play on the Hancock County offense as the man kept it from being a turnover. And Hancock County brings it around with a minute 37 to go. He sets up. Todd Hudson gets the ball. If, oh, and it's over to Scott Mello. There's no numbers there, so they're going to set it up and go with the regular play. Now, what kind of offense does it look like, Todd? Uh, that looks like a, what was basically called last year is the score of rotation. And that was string music by Scott Mello. Scott. Really showing his outside shot here in the second. And Mello has 10. He's the leading scorer tonight. 12. 
He's even the leader scorer. <laughs> the very leading scorer. Maybe that's a better grammar. grammar. Hancock County sits up on the right. For he forced the shot that time. It's no good. Mello gets runs the ball down. They got him trapped. Over to Todd Hudson. Over to Edmonds. Edmonds looking to bring it up the court. Over to Mello. Mello gets it across the 10-second line. Edmonds, being a young player, is really showing his ability not to be able to choke under pressure. Edmonds at the point. He looks. Over to Browning on the right. Wildcats look that they'll probably go for the last shot with 29 seconds to go. Mello. Running uh, what is called Notre Dame, one of, one of the offensive made famous by Digger Phelps at Notre Dame for use against the zone and working for the last shot. Edmondson County leads 36-23, and they're going to try to expand that 13-point lead to 15. And they got eight seconds to go, and they're going to have to forward something now. Mello, Mello drives. Bad pass, but Hudson gets to it. Oh, could have been a walk. Mello gets it. He shoots. Well, no good if it had went. And that's the end of the third quarter with Wildcats leading 36-23. We will break for the moment. One of y'all call it. You two can decide who can do who can do play the play. I ain't worth a shit at it. Y'all, both of y'all are looking for it. Thirty six. Listen to it. Yeah. Have to listen to it. Yeah. To listen to it. So. Uh, well, you know, yeah, yeah, nothing gonna be perfect. Wait a minute, we get a copy of this tape. I don't know how we're gonna listen to it. Let's get it. We could have time to listen to it tonight. Part of it. Listen to the song. So. Yeah. It's, this will be over by about 15 to late. I mean, for nine, we can listen to about 30 minutes and see. Is this the latest right there? We'll see, we'll be here Monday and Tuesday anyway. Looks good. It's coming. We're going to take up oh, okay. preseason. We're back here at Wildcat Arena where the Edmondson County Wildcats are leading by a score of 36 to 23 here starting the fourth quarter. So far, fouls have really played a key factor as far as the Edmondson County having no bigger lead than they have. As both times they have put Hancock County in a bonus while Hancock County had a total of three fouls the first quarter, I mean the first half, and two fouls so far in the third quarter. The Edmonds County will, will be bringing the ball in with Browning, Todd Hudson, Joy James, Scott Mello, and Richard Hunt. You know, it's really a testament to the way Emmons County's been playing it. They're not down by more because Hancock County really should have hit some of their free throws early on. Nice oh. out of bounds play by the Wildcats. Got no. Todd Hud Hudson open. Looked like football season. Right now we have White with the ball over to Cummings. Cummings with the ball in, throws the inside to Emmerich. Emmerich goes up to turn around and scores for two. Joy James has the ball, bring down the floor over to Scott Mello. Scott Mello brings the ball in the corner, passes up to James. James in the corner to Mello. Mello has the ball, dribbling back out front. Mello. Hudson looking very patient here. Hudson with the ball. Over to Mello. Mello inside to Browning. Nice post up. Browning goes up off oh, the glass. High off the glass. High off the glass. Very good touch on that shot. They showed a lot of good patience that time, but they were moving a lot quicker, it seems like, than they have been the other quarters. Roberts with the ball. Roberts dribbling. Over to uh, Cummings. Over to Emrick inside. Now, oh. still, and uh, James has the ball. James bring the ball down to Florida. Hudson, Hudson couldn't hold on to it. It's recovered by Tom White. Tom White brings the ball down the floor for Hancock County. Tom goes up and shoots, and it's good. He forced that when it come out ahead against the odds. James over to Mello down the side. Mello sent the ball up. Mello over to James. James taking the ball all the way in the paint and goes up no good. Tapped up, rebound, Hunt. Hunt goes up and he's hey. fouled. Well, that looks like the Richard Hunt of last year really working for Richard it. really went after that. Hunt fouled by number 30, Tom White. If this was a regular season game, Hunt would be working on the fouls for a second game. Richard has six this game. He and it really in the intensity, he's just had some, he's been out of position and really been reaching for the ball. He's been, he's been playing a little bit better this second half. I think I think he possibly got a little bit of pep talk at the, in the halftime, you might say. Hunt will be at the line to shoot two, and he connects on the first one. That's surprising. Hunt last year showed a very good touch at the free throw line once he got working on it, wouldn't you say? Yes, I think though, you know, you got to consider it all in all, it's early in the season. Go second one by Hunt. 
<laughs> White brings the ball on the floor. Quiet inside to come in. Foul by Fouls charged to Chris Murth, I believe, on that play. Wait and see the call. Yes, that is on Chris Meredith. That's his first foul. Chris was out of position. He tried to make the play from behind instead of getting in front of his man in the basket. Not much weak side help. The Wildcats really haven't been much weak side help tonight for either team. It's this since this is the early part of the season, though, you can expect that. Tom Cummings at the line, connects on the first shot, and he will have another. From all the reports I get out of the Wildcat locker room, it seems like tomorrow's Saturday, special Saturday practice is going to be a very a defensive practice. And from tonight, it looks like it's well made. Tom connects on his second shot, and it comes down the floor. Brownie misses on the fast break. All follow up by Ooh. Cummings, and it's good. It's pretty. It's pretty. That was a nice play by Hancock County. Meredith almost loses the ball. James with the ball. James hitting the ball up out front. Over to Browning. Browning in the wing. I think the Wildcats Browning to Hunt. Slow it up a little bit. They, they got a little bit too fast, and it's, it's hurting them. It's hurting them. Hudson has the ball another wing. James wide open in the paint. Goes up. Falls away. No good. Battle for the ball. It'll be Wildcats basketball. That was good hustle by the Wildcats. Inside. Wildcats didn't seem to really get their offense going that time. They need to get it out and let, let James or Meredith one set up the offense and run the show. Meredith with the ball on the wing. He shoots from outside. It's uh, string music. Ooh, he peppered that net. We had two, three Joe Deans here tonight yelling string music. <laughs> Tom, Vincent, uh, Tom, check us on that. Tom White with the ball. White dribbles the ball. He throws it over to Cummings. Cummings out to Matt White. Matt with the ball. He goes in. He shoots. Falling down. No good. Rebounded by Hunt. Hunt throws the ball out to Meredith. Meredith brings the ball down the floor for the Wildcats. Meredith to James. Oh, we have a charge. Charged by Meredith, but that could have been partially acting to the acting job. We could have I, taken that one upstairs to the replay official. I believe so. I, a lot of acting on that one, Todd. Tom Cummings throws the ball into his brother, Matt. We have a whistle, as well as some type of controversy over on the court. Oh, well, they were in the bonus on that last one. Yeah, check us on that. It was in the bonus. Now we have uh, Brian Alexander and number 34, Travis Hudson, coming into the Wildcat lineup, replacing number 55, Richard Hunt, and number 53, Brian Browning. We also have John Roberts coming in, replacing Brad Cummings. Sean Eccles will be at the line to shoot one in the bonus. The first shot is up. It's good. He will have another shot coming to him. And we got the score here unofficially of 42-30. Check that. It's 43-29. Oh, check that again. It's 42-30. Sean Emrick just about to hit the rim on that shot as it goes off to the right side. He must have been laughing at us getting mixed up up here. I believe so. James with the ball. James on the wing. Alexander inside. It goes on the corner to Travis Hudson. Goal by Travis Hudson. That's, that's the first appearance of Travis Hudson tonight. Tom, Tom White with the ball brings the ball, comes down the floor. Tries to go inside with it to Roberts, but stolen by Chris Meredith. Chris Meredith with the ball coming down the floor for the Wildcats. It goes over to Alexander. Alexander goes up and shoots, and it's good. Ooh. Meredith brought the ball down well that time. He's really, ready. really top the open man. Put it to the man. Tom White brings the ball up the floor for the Hornets of Hancock County. Tom White dribbling on to the elbow. It goes in the corner to his brother Matt White. Matt goes up and it's good. Goal by Matt White. And it's 44-32. Wow. Joy James with the ball for Demons County. He comes down the floor. Joy James takes it all the way. Goes up. Air ball. Rebounded by Eccles. Eccles with the ball. Kicks it out to Tom White. Tom White goes over to uh, his brother Matt White, and he goes up and scores. These the two teams are playing out of control now, I, I believe. They're playing what you might call barnyard ball. They're, it's been one-on-one -on -one for the last two or three trips down, up and down the field. Joy James with the ball. Over to Chris Meredith. Inside to Todd Hudson. Todd Hudson goes up, and he scores. He gets a little bounce on the rim. Soft shot. Nice shot by Todd Hudson. Nice touch. 
Tom White brings the ball up the floor. Good concentration that last time. Tom White dribbles the ball. He goes, oh, and he kicks it down low to Young. Young goes up, shoots, no good. Rebounded James. James with the basketball. That was a nice pass inside by Tom White. He found the open man well. He, they just couldn't stick it in the bucket. These Evanston County guards are, are packing it in inside. And, and James, M Meredith, and Mello and Edmondson really got a few rebounds. While well, Hudson come in and, and connected on his first one from the elbow. He goes up for his other and he misses. But Evans County has the ball now. It's James with the ball over to Alexander. Alexander shoots from the outside. It's no good. Rebounded by Emrick. Emrick with the ball, brings the ball down the floor, and he passes to White open. Tom White. Tom White goes up, shoot, and it's good. We have a stop here. Referee apparently has a shoe untied. <laughs> and the, the score is 46 to 36. Unofficially, we kind of was off. Last time, let's hope we ain't off this time. Back to Wildcat play. Joy James with the basketball, brings it up the floor. James dribbling, passes over to on the right side to Meredith. Meredith takes the ball all the way. He goes up and shoots, no good. Rebound to Alexander. Alexander goes up and it's good. Nice board work by Alexander. He's fight with the ball and he goes over to Emrick. Emrick takes the ball in the corner. Oh, picked off by James. James. Going down the floor, he goes up. Left-handed layup, no good. Rebounded. Oh, controversial rebound. We get Chris Meredith called for over the back. Controversial call, that, I do believe. That was a bad. That was a bad play. James James should have dished that off. He had the man to either side. Instead, he decided to take that in when he could have pulled up and either shot it himself or dished it off. And it could have been two points right there. And that was a missed opportunity, and you won't get many of those. James could have probably made the layup if he just went on strong to the hole, but he slowed up and waited for the man to get in front of him. So now we have Tom White at the line for the Hornets, shooting one and the bonus. White concentrating. Coach Meredith gets up. This that first one is good. good. That, wouldn't, that wouldn't be a strange thing to see, to see the coach get up, but with this seatbelt rule that they have in, in, in place since last year, it's, you don't see it too often unless he's putting someone in and you can expect someone to, fit, to go in in just a moment, possibly for James. That Tom White misses his second shot and Meredith has the ball for the Wildcats. He kicks it out and brings it down the floor. Meredith dribbles. It's over on the wing to Alexander. Alexander dribbles. He takes it inside. Goes up with the left hand. No good. Rebound. We have Hudson with the ball. Hudson puts it in. Goal by Travis, Travis Hudson. And Travis Hudson has four. Alexander made a good spin move. Just couldn't get his shot to fall. And Young out of control with the ball. He kicks it back out to White. White Young with the ball again. Shoots and it's string music from Young in the corner. It, Wildcats have got a pretty comfortable lead, I believe, going it with a minute 50 seconds to go. If they can hang on to it right here. They'll come out from the way. Yeah, Alexander, from, Alexander from outside, no good. Hudson with the ball again. He goes up and he's fouled. Nice strong move by Hudson. Well, Hudson's showing some promise. He's not played but three minutes, but, and he's already got four points. And he's on the line going to try to go for six. While Hudson, while Hudson is from B Springs, you could almost believe that he works for the Lindsayville Sanitation Department as he is picking up all the garbage baskets so far. <laughs> Very good quote and comment. Very good That's comment, awesome. Todd. <laughs> Who was that to check in for the Hancock County Hornets? I believe. I believe Brad White, I believe. Now Brad we have White, John Roberts, and Todd, Todd Cummings. Cummings checks back in the game. The leading scorer at the moment with nine. Hudson shoots his first one. It's nothing but the bottom of the net. He has the ball. He gets up for a second shot. We have all three of the White brothers in the game now. We have Tom White, Matt White, and Brad White. He shoots the second one. It's no good. It goes off the back of the rim, and it's rebounded by Brad White. Brad White brings the ball on the floor over to Tom White. Tom White with the ball, goes up, oh. and he's fouled. And he drew him up in the air. If he could have gotten that over, it could have been a crucial three-point play on that one. Instead, he'll have to settle for a chance at two. That's what you get, Emmons County needs to, uh, I think they're going to have one problem, they need to learn that they're not shot blockers. <laughs> That's the truth. Coach Meredith emphasizes, put, keep the hands up and stay on the floor. Brad White shoots his first shot of the night from the foul line, and it is good. It's That's his first point of the game, too. We'll go for the second one, you see if he'll cut that lead. He shoots, and it's nothing but net. Another point. James kicks the ball down the sideline to 
Meredith, Meredith back to James over to Alexander. Alexander takes the ball inside the paint. He goes up and he shoots yeah. off the glass. It's good. And that extends the Edmonton County lead to 11. They're hanging tough with a minute 17. We have Tom White with the ball out front. Tom White dribbling the basketball. He throws it over to Young. Young with the basketball. Inside to back to Tom. It's fouled. It's going to be on Alexander, I believe. No, Meredith. Meredith. You could, you could tell on that last play, Hancock County started clearing it out on the right. They brought two of their players over to the left side on the far right end to bring the Wildcats who were in a man-to-man -man away from it. And then ran the point guard very high and brought another man up near the free throw line and ran one at the bottom. They set it up pretty good. It'll be quiet at the line. Tom, uh, White. Tom White. As That is Chris Meredith's second foul. Tom will shoot. He has one shot left. He goes up. No good. Rebounded by Todd Hudson over to Chris Meredith. Chris Meredith brings the ball on the floor over to Travis Hudson. He can't hold on to it, but he kicks it. He saves it. Kicks it back out to James. James takes the ball inside. Passes over to Alexander. Alexander goes up, and he is hammered. That, that's the way you play right there. You go up with it strong and either make them foul you or get the two points. Alexander seems to be playing his best basketball while he's driving toward the basket. He's a, he's a strong inside player. He's, he's about 6'3", but... He plays about 6'5", really, with his strength inside. He's really muscled up in the past couple of years. He don't have a lot of great leaping ability, but he has he, he can clear out people in there and does a good job of it. Well, he keeps his defenders honest because they don't know whether to play him close for the outside shot or back up because he can drive on them. Speaking of his outside shot from the three throw line, he just scorched the net on that one. Yes, it's, it's still a little bit of smoke rising off of it. Yeah. And the second one's just the same way. We may have to call the VFD out here before too long. Wildcats going for man to man. 47 seconds left in the game. We have Brad White with the ball, still by Todd Hudson. Todd Hudson brings the ball down the floor. Hudson takes the ball behind his back. Inside to Chris Meredith. Chris Meredith takes it all the way. He goes up, shoots, and good. Goal by Chris Meredith. Nice drive by Chris Murray. As the crowd are really starting to get into the game here in the closing seconds. There is 25 seconds left to go. 55-40. Score 55-40. Wildcats with a 15-point lead unofficially. Off. The Wildcats. And we can say the Wildcats pretty much have this one wrapped up. I don't think in 17 seconds you can score 15 points. It, I might be surprised, but I think it's beyond capacity and a half. Uh, we will remind you to stay with us for the end of the game. We will have our Miller highlight, most valuable player. <laughs> Travis Hudson with the rebound after a missed shot by Brad White. Chris Meredith with the ball back to Joy James. Oh, they're not even watching the clock. Oh, and it, time expires as the Edmondson County Wildcats win this first scrimmage game by a score of 55 to 40. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Hey, who's Bruce. The, who's the best player? Bruce. Let's see. Bruce. Who do you think? Bruce. Todd. What's Score. the score? Oh, shit. We way off. <laughs> 62. Dang. What y'all had? 55, 40. <laughs> we, we only missed the first pick. Scott had a total of 12 points and 5 assists. This, you can call this.